I'm back! That's right, me! Mike Kirby! The guy that... All that stuff that's popping up on your screen. Freedom Church, Jesus Outsider, all that stuff. It's time to answer yet another one of your questions. One we get a lot, and probably the most important. Why are you calling it Freedom Church? What's in a name? Well, what is in a name? For truly, doth a rose by any other name not smell as sweet? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But, to give credit, it was the lovely bride who came up with the name Freedom Church. I can't take credit for it, but as I prayed through it, as she prayed through it, and I asked a couple other people to pray through it, we all did a lot of praying. That's the name that stuck. And I think for good reason. Freedom is what we look for in Christ. I mean, we know the verses, right? Lots of verses. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. We know that one. How did Jesus start his ministry? Well, he went into the temple and he read from the following. And I'm going to read it. So if I look over there, it's okay. I'm, I'm reading. I set up a little magic teleprompter thingy here. Okay? Okay? Okay. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. That's the first half. Jesus said, what did he come to do? Freedom. Freedom. You know, freedom, like my shirt says. This is what Freedom Church is about. First step, getting people free. Free from what? Well, that's a good question. We're in America. America's free. America. Well, political liberty, which we could argue about in an entirely another thing, is not what we're talking about. No, this is freedom from the real bondage. The bondage of sin all around us, maybe even you, I don't know, but there are people that are captives to sin. Everywhere. Their sin or someone else's. Captive. And Freedom Church is, and I know we're not alone in this, but our job is to proclaim the gospel, to reach out with the good news, to break those chains of bondage. People held in bondage by their own sin and by the consequences of sins of others. That's what it's all about. To bring the power and mercy and grace of Jesus to heal, to bind up the brokenhearted, and for people to cast off the bounds of those sins, to walk free. Now the second part, is a reminder to walk free. That's Galatians. Galatians 5.1, which was actually the first verse that was laid on my heart when we named it Freedom Church. Very simple verse. I know it, you know it, we all know it. Maybe we don't. Maybe we should remember it. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made you free. And do not become entangled again in a yoke of bondage. In other words, over here, Jesus is setting you free. Now over here it's saying, stay free. Stay free. Remain in liberty, to use another phrase. That's what we're about. Get people free. Help them stay free. 
keep the chains of sin and bondage off of their lives. I think that's huge. But that's why we're Freedom Church. A lot of the folks that we feel called to go after, to call to proclaim the gospel to, they've got a lot of chains and bonds on them. Many of them, they don't even know they have them. We're going to preach the gospel to people that not many other churches are reaching. That's the vision. That's the name. Wasn't a marketing decision. It wasn't using Madison Avenue research. We didn't focus group it. But the truth is, the name of the church is our mission. To proclaim freedom. You want to know more? Maybe you want to join us in proclaiming that freedom? Website just popped up on the screen. Freedompia.org. Hit us up. Go through and research it. Listen, read the vision. It's all on there. You want to know more? There's a contact link where you can email us. We're here. And we want more. We want help proclaiming the gospel. That's why I'm doing the videos. Thanks for being out there. I look forward to being back with you again next week. Even if you don't. Bye now.